Now we're recording. Can you name the UK cities and towns when given a literal definition of their name? Sounds interesting. Let's give this a go. Giving out playing cards to participants. Oh, down by Dover. Deal. Deal is a place. Okay. Oh my god. Textile pattern featuring a curved teardrop shape. Ooh, can I... Can I skip and come back? Where is that? Fort William. Airdrie. Pa no, it's... Paisley. Yes. Wow, okay. How are we doing for time here? We've got 10 minutes overall, 9 left already. Okay, I need to hurry up. Light shallow farm tool used after ploughing. Oh god, this is going to be really hard. Trowel? Light shallow farm tool used after ploughing. No, going to have to move on. Horse race or other organised race. That's Derby. That is an easy one. A group of vessels, especially war vessels. God, we don't have much time to do this. Fleet. Featured on one of my famous GeoGuessr videos. Holes in the ground. Come on, we're doing this, we're doing this. For extracting water or other substances. Wells. I don't know why I'm getting so fired up here, but I am. Waterproof boot named for a British Duke. Wellington? I don't really know that Wellington down there, but there you go. It could only be that, couldn't it? Third month of the year. April. Why am I saying April? March. These are very small places, some of these. Large tub or pool using for, used for washing the body. Bath. Not bath. Bulb vegetable, similar to spring onion, national emblem of Wales. Leek. Of course, leek. Unit of mass equal to 14 pounds. Stone. I think that's quite a British word, though. Making the noise of the dog. Barking. I think we're doing all right here. We've caught up. Covered in fine grains of rock. Covered in fine... Fine grains of rock found on beaches. Sand. Whoa, hang on. Sand is made of shells, isn't it? Shingle. Ooh, come back to that. Shingle coat. I don't know. Team sport using an egg-shaped ball. Rugby. Don't know if that's... Yeah. Exchange of goods for money or credit. Where is that? Exchange of goods for money or credit. Sale. Sale, okay. Um, item or good for sale. Item or good for sale. Where? Yeah, where? That is a place. Hard quartz stone that can be struck to create sparks. Where's that? Flint. Flint in North Wales. Shepherd's curved staff. Oh, what is that called? Shepherd's curved staff. Oh, no. Where is that near? That's Middlesbrough, Stockton, Newcastle, Sunderland, Hartlepool. We've got time to dwell on this a bit, but some of the places that have come up are tiny, such as March or Fleet or Wellington. Um, what's it called? Going to have to move on from that and come back to it. 
furry fungal growth on organic material such as food, American spelling, mold. Yeah. Inter, inter or hide in the ground. What? Inter or hide in the ground. Burrow? Oh God. What's around there? Preston, Wigan, Blackburn. It, what do you mean inter? Body of a ship, hull. Marsh, swamp or backwater. Marsh, swamp, or backwater. Oh. Basingstoke, Newbury. Marsh, sw what, what's... Come on, Tom, you've walked through enough of these things. What are they called? Fen. Right, we're back to this. Light, sh I'm never going to do this. Light, shallow farm tool used after ploughing. Trowel, spade, spade, hoe, hoe, rake. I don't know, what's used after ploughing? I've never ploughed before. Covered in fine grains of rock found on beaches. Shingle, sand, sand back. Keep going through. Shepherd's curved staff. What is up there? Stockton. Durham. I'm never going to get that. Bishop's Auckland. I'm never going to get that, am I? Sunderland. Washington. I'm using my geography knowledge to try and get the answer, but... It ain't happening. Newcastle. Hartlepool. Darlington. That's all I know up there. Inter or hide in the ground. H hibernate? Well, that's not a place, is it? I can't get any of these. Marsh, swamp or backwater. What's around there? Reading. Um, Abingdon, Oxford. Uh, Newbury, Slough, oh wow it's Slough, good good we got one, covered in fine grains of rock found on beaches, We've got Northampton, Peterborough, do they mean sand, I think they mean sand, sand coat, sandy, sandy, yeah that makes sense, inter or hide in the ground, come on, Burrow, hide in the ground. Dig, dug, diglet. Light, shallow farm tool. No. Hook. What's it called? What's it called? I'm not going to get it. I'm done. We're missing four. Crook. Berry. How the frig did I not get that? Berry. What's it got to do with Inter, though? So it was three we were missing. Crook. I knew that. That's why I said hook at the end. Berry. Inexplicable. And harrow. Oh, the plough and harrow. A bit more time and I, w I think I would have got that. The plough and harrow. So obvious. Hey, that was good fun. A bit disappointed that I didn't get at least one more um, by hook or by crook. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a solid geography quiz. Um, if anyone's got any recommendations for anything similar to this, let me know. And of course, the elephant in the room is that the geodetective still isn't with you. I'm working hard on it. I am working hard on that. It'll be worth it when it finally arrives, hopefully. And I have been filming two adventures in this past 10 days or so, um, which uh, goes some way to explaining the, the period of quiet on the channel. One of them was for Patreon, one of them was for YouTube, which will be an absolute banger. It's, it's a 
tenner in my pocket type thing many of you will be pleased to learn uh, enjoy your weekend guys and i'll see you very soon for more geography and more adventures take care